In both humanities classes this year, I have had the opportunity to advocate for myself when it comes to things like participation grades and then just grades in general. And I've also had the opportunity to advocate for my peers in situations where there are differences in how teachers treat some students in terms of opportunity. And I've done this by having productive conversations that have led to fair outcomes. I've seen a level of advocacy for oneself I've noticed that she is able to um, talk to us really openly and clearly about what she needs. And that is something that I feel like a lot of people don't even learn until they're an adult. Um, and so anytime that she has a question about something or anytime that she needs something or wants to know more about something, she's not afraid to ask. And not only that, but she's not afraid to like speak on behalf of the rest of the class or her peers in order to get something accomplished, which I think is a really big deal. And it's pointed me as her teacher in the right direction a lot of times too. In math class this year, I had the opportunity to be a class leader for the duration of the Fortify project. And having gone to HGH for so long, uh, this definitely was not the first leadership opportunity that I've come across, but this was probably the most perspective changing one so far. And this was because uh, a member of the group that I was getting disagreed with almost every idea I had for the entire project, which was obviously a bit frustrating. Um, and But I, being the leader, had to find a way to adapt so that we could keep producing work efficiently. And this taught me to be more adaptable and susceptible to the ideas of people that I interact with when I'm in roles of leadership, even if I don't necessarily agree with them. Um, I think Kate has grown over the course of this year in uh, her communication skills, especially with the coffee project. It was a very long and grueling project, but um, she stayed steadfast and goal-oriented and was able to like work with people that she hasn't worked with before and produce a really wonderful booth. Um, I also want to celebrate um, her selflessness in that she was there to set up for exhibition, was leading, was was making, was making organizing, making sure people knew where to go, and also stayed after to help tear down when most students left. Um, so I really want to thank her for that. Being in theater class has taught me a lot about humility. In the first few weeks of the semester, Angie sat us down and told us that um, to be a good performer, we had to let go of the embarrassment that we felt being on stage. And I initially kind of brushed this off because I generally don't have that much issue with um, embarrassment. But as we started rehearsals and actually getting on stage, I definitely understood what she meant and I think most of the cast did as well because it was very evident in the way we were performing that we were a little embarrassed. Um, but this was definitely a learning curve for me and through this semester and this process I learned to trust the process of a theater production and that it was more important to focus my efforts on being a good actor and putting on a good production rather than worrying about being embarrassed. Well, it takes a lot to be uh, a performer in a show. You have to be humble if you want to grow and develop as not only a student, but as a performer. And Kate demonstrated and practiced those virtues um, on a daily basis. She was always open to positive critique uh, she was always open and humble to accepting not only what other students, but what we as faculty members would present her with. And I think that humility allowed her to grow and develop even more so as a student and as a performer as well. I also love that uh, seeing her on stage, um, I just never thought that that's what she would do. But uh, she, she turned out to be like an amazing actress. Um, and so I'm just proud of all the growth that Kate has done, and, and yeah, go Kate. Something I want to grow in in 11th grade is learning to share the air, which I feel falls under the category of collaboration techniques. And this is because I generally 
take on the leadership role in at every opportunity and I think I should let other people do that sometimes and I will do this by stepping back a little bit and letting people handle their own situations for me. Another growth point that I want to uh, make happen in 11th grade is uh, furthering my ability to take critique and criticisms. And I think everyone in general can improve on this, but I feel like I am a very proud person and I generally take feedback as a negative when it really is a positive thing. And I will do this by continuing to remind myself that feedback makes me better, uh, which is something that I've struggled with in the past. Another goal that I have for 11th grade is coming up with multiple ways to solve a problem. And this is because I generally have a lot of trouble coming up with alternative solutions to a problem that I've solved once I have a solution that I like. And I will work on this by uh, pushing myself to come up with two or three solutions to each major decision that I make.